Here we go. Today, we're gonna to be making sesame balls from scratch, including the sweet red bean paste that we will use as a filling. I ate this a lot growing up and it's one of my favorite desserts because it's not too sweet. Here I have sweet rice flour I will be making the dough with and sesame seeds we'll be using later on. And for the filling, we're gonna be using azuki red bean. Here's how it's gonna go down. We're gonna rinse seven ounces of this into a small bowl, discard any broken ones, drain it, And then we're gonna transfer those beans into a big pot right here. We're gonna add enough water to cover it by one to two inches. And then we're gonna bring it overheat onto a boil. We're gonna drain the beans and then return it back to the same pot. Cover it again by one to two inches. Bring it to a boil and then bring it to low to simmer for two hours. One and a half hours, one hour. Well, if I mush one, yeah, that's done. Ooh. Time to make some paste. Slowly, slowly. You just go for it. I gotta plug it in. Here we go. Just a little bit. Three fifty two grams. So we're gonna divide that into eight pieces. What's three fifty two divided by eight? Go right into two. Now I want this at forty four grams each. Let's see what forty three. Alright, this one's good. Thirty three, okay. I'm gonna take the big piece. Rip some out of here. And then I'm gonna add it with this one. Forty-five. How about this one? Forty-six. Next. Thirty-seven. This one we're short on. I feel like this one's big. Forty-six. Forty-four. Nice. 45, I wonder what this is, 46, nice, let me flatten it with your thumb,
Yes. So what we have here are 44 gram doughs. So what we want is to make half of that. So we want to make half of 44, which is 22. Twenty-four. All right. This won't really cut it, so I will need to dip it in a slurry. Of cornstarch and water and roll it around. Not bad, except there's a bald spot. There's a lot of work, man, just to make this, but I'm sure it'll be worth it. This was a lot of work. Look at how they turned out. Oh my gosh. Let's take a bite. That was right. Crunchy on the outside, soft and chewy on the inside, and sweet all around. That was a lot of hard work, but that was definitely worth it. That was fun too. From making the sweet red bean paste to making the mochi dough, onto forming the filling balls, and then combining them all together to make the sesame balls. It was a lot of steps, but I would say my favorite one was rolling the balls onto the sesame seeds and just see everything come together at last, right before frying it. And here we are, golden brown beauties. Although one of these did erupt and open up. I, I don't think I pinched it that well. Thank you so much for watching and sharing a space with me here at our virtual table. Hit that like and subscribe button and comment down below what your favorite sesame ball filling is or what you thought of this video. I'll see y'all in the next one. In honor of AAPI Month this May, we are cooking all Asian or Asian-inspired dishes throughout the month. So come join us.